In case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction.
Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> 